Hi, this is Ken. I belong to the Power Electronics Laboratory at Nagoya University. Power Electronic is a technology that converts electronic power and it can convert voltage from DC to AC, AC to DC, and so on. This technology is used in a variety of applications. This time, I'm going to explain how to make a toy train move from the power electronic field. How does a toy train work? Trains require a certain voltage to drive them. This voltage is supplied by batteries. However, when batteries are used, the voltage is so small that it cannot move the train. Therefore, a boost chopper circuit is required to obtain the required voltage. A boost chopper can output a voltage higher than the input voltage. Also, the magnitude of the output voltage can be varied by changing the commanded value. This makes it possible to move the train at various speed. Now, I'll explain about the voltage boost chopper. Then, let's use an actual toy train later. Let's take a look at the inside of the voltage boost chopper. Here is a circuit diagram of the boost chopper. The input voltage corresponds to the battery and the inductor is connected in a series with it. The inductor is capable of storing electronic energy as magnetic energy. A semiconductor device called a MOSFET is connected in the parallel to the power supply and inductor. This is a switch and it can be switched at high speed using electronic signal, not our hands. In addition, there is a diode on the output side. This prevents the current from following from the output side to the inside input side. On the output side, there is a capacitor which can store energy. So, how does this boost chopper work? The relationship between input voltage and output one can be expressed by this equation. Capital D is a duty rate, which is percentage of time the switch is on. Capital T is a switching cycle, and T on is an on time in the switching cycle. For example, if the input voltage is 5 volt and the duty rate is 0 0.5, the output voltage will be 10 volt. And if the duty rate is 0 0.75, the output voltage will be 20 volt. This allows a higher voltage than the input voltage. You can change the speed of the train. Let's take a deeper look into the circuit. The circuit has an on state and off state depending on the switch. In the on state, the circuit is closed as shown here. The input voltage is applied to both ends of the inductor and the circuit increases. In the off state, the circuit is connected to the load as shown here. The energy stored in the inductor is released and the current becomes small. The amount of raising and falling current will be the same, so the inductor current will be average as shown in the dot line. In addition, the input voltage, the energy of the inductor are added together and transferred to the output side resulting in a larger output voltage. So far, we have seen that boost chopper is operated by a switching signal. Now, how is switching signal generated? This requires a comparison wave and a triangular wave. Then, it compares which 
of these two input voltage is higher or lower with the comparator. If the comparison wave is higher, a high signal is output. And if it is lower, a low signal is output. As the comparison wave changes, the width of the on-off time changes. In other words, since the duty rate changes, the output voltage also changes. This method of controlling the output voltage by the width of the pulse is called PWM control. Now let's try to actual move a toy train using a boost chopper. We'll use input voltage of 5 volts and 15 volts. The 5 volts is an input to the power section of the boost chopper. And the 15 volts is an additional power supplied and drive the control circuit. This multimeter measures the output voltage. Let's use that oscilloscope to check the operation. This yellow waveform is a PWM signal. This red waveform is a triangle wave. And this blue waveform is a comparison wave. Now, the output voltage has been boosted to 7 volts. At this time, the duty rate is 28%. Now, what happens if we increase the duty rate? As the seller says, if the duty rate is increased, the output voltage will also increase. Let's increase the comparison weight using variable register. Then, the duty rate is increased, and the output voltage has changed from 7 to 10 volts. You can see the speed of the train has also increased. In summary, the boost chopper can be used to change the input voltage from low to high. Furthermore, by changing duty rate, the desired output voltage can be set. Thank you for listening and good luck with your study.